Hey guys! <laughs> this is Arkel here and it has been quite a long time since I've actually made videos for you guys. I'm so, 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 so sorry you guys have no idea, but I'm super, super happy to be actually making videos again. It is so great. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Uh, <laughs> but first and foremost, it might not seem like it, I've actually been gone for too long since I think at this point I should have uploaded quite a few videos, like a string of videos, like I think four or five of them, but those were actually recorded in the beginning of June and right now it is August 7th. So hopefully I'll get the, this video and those videos up sometime soon so it won't be too long, but I wanted to go ahead and make this video to go ahead and let you guys know what has been going on with me and why I've been gone for so long, which I certainly did not intend to do. And I wish I would have told you guys sooner, but a lot of things have been happening and crazy stuff. And oh my gosh. So in this video, I want to go ahead and just talk about why I have been gone, what's been happening with me, like personally, which is very, very different from what I usually post on this channel or what I post in general. You guys might know that I'm not very overly personal like, I love sharing my, my dolls with you and my creativity and everything, but when it comes to me personally, I'm not the biggest, like, share, especially when it's things that are not, like, very positive and happy because I really like to keep as many things regarding me positive and happy and, and inspiring and helpful to you guys. I really don't like spending too much time talking about unfortunate things that have happened or are happening for me. It's very, very difficult. I always find it incredibly difficult to talk about things that are happening at the moment that they happen. Unfortunate things, I... I for some reason, it's so difficult for me to actually like make videos and talk about unfortunate things that are happening in the moment. It's much easier for me to let things play out and then reflect on them after they've happened and try to put a more positive spin on things um, since they have since they've already come to pass, if that makes sense. So yes, oh, I tried making a video, like a up, regular update video and putting this as a small subsection of it, but it just did not feel proper. I wanted to go ahead and just make this entire video just devoted to this one particular thing because it's it's important and I want you guys to know I don't want to spend just you know, like two minutes talking about it and making it seem like it was nothing since it is rather important. So yes, um, <laughs> this video hopefully will not be too long but I do want to go ahead. It was very important for me to go ahead and let you guys know where I have been, what has been happening, and uh, I think I really owe it to you guys since you guys, you know, always pay so much attention to me on my channel here and my dollies and everything and you guys are so kind and caring and I really owe it to you guys to be honest with you and what has been going on and where I have been. So yes, for those of you guys who have been following me on Flickr and Twitter, you guys might be a little bit more aware, but those of you guys who only follow me here on YouTube, you guys are completely in the dark and I deeply, deeply apologize for that. But quite a few months ago, you guys know that I have not made videos prior to those few that I uploaded recently, hopefully. I had not made videos prior to that in quite a long time, and that was certainly not my intention whatsoever, but I had just, at that point, I was very, very, very busy. I had tons of commissions to work on, face-up commissions, which I still do, um, but I was very busy with that, with face-ups and my own personal things and my own personal life, and just very, very busy, very, very hectic time, and I just didn't really have a ton of time to devote to all of my hobbies and the things that I love. I have a lot of things that I like to work on within my doll hobby, within the other hobbies as well, and I just was very, very busy and didn't have time to devote to everything all at once, and that was very, very unfortunate, but a while after that, I started to develop some very concerning health issues. I had gotten... I haven't been... <laughs> I hadn't gotten actually like sick sick in quite a few years actually. It had probably been two, three, four years since I'd actually gotten sick sick. Like, you know, like cold, flu kind of feeling, which started with me getting like actually sick like that to begin with. And then after I felt like, you know, I had been recovered, I started having more issues, a much bigger issue, which I had started to develop a thing called heart palpitations. And if you guys don't know what this is, it's essentially when your heart sort of beats and flutters really, really quickly and completely out of nowhere, it sort of mimics uh, what it feels like to have a heart attack. And essentially, if you know the feeling of like running a mile really, really quickly, you have that deep, intense, like pounding in your heart. It essentially feels kind of like that, but it comes completely out of nowhere for no reason. You can just be sitting on your couch and all of a sudden it comes out of nowhere. And I had never had heart palpitations whatsoever in my entire life prior to just a few months ago. And I didn't even know that this was actually a thing. When it first started happening, it was, you know, it happened really, really intensely. I literally thought that I was actually having a heart attack. You know, it felt like, you know, my, my heart was exploding out of my chest and it was super painful and terrible and I literally felt like, you know, this deep feeling of dread and anxiety like I was going to die. So I had, you know, ended up going to the ER and, you know, getting tests done and everything like that because it felt like, I, you know, I was going to have a heart attack. It was crazy. But they had told me that, you know, it's actually, you know, called heart palpitations and that 
these can occur from a number of different things and it's not necessarily a matter of an actual like real heart problem it can be caused by a ton of different things but no most notably and probably the most realistic in regards to myself is probably due to anxiety and stress and also from uh, use of caffeine which if you guys don't know i struggle with chronic tiredness i'm like tired 24 7 all day every day and i have to sleep about twice as much as the average person to feel the same amount of restfulness so usually i have to sleep about 10 to 12 hours a day to feel proper which is incredibly unfortunate because it really limits the amount of time that i have in the day to accomplish things and you know being tired all day also is is very um, unfortunate and makes things that much more difficult so of course i was trying my best to work with what i have and do my best and so a while back I was drinking a ton of coffee I'd probably drink like maybe three or four cups of coffee a day trying to you know stay awake and accomplish things and, and do all that I had to do since I was very busy at that moment and I learned of course going to the ER and to the doctors and everything that you know caffeine can definitely cause palpitations and people that don't have heart problems or have never had them before too much caffeine and, and energy drinks and caffeinated tea and soda and things like that can definitely cause it too much sugar too so i have completely at this point i've completely cut out all caffeine and pretty much as much sugar as i possibly can no soda anything like that and made a lot of dietary changes because of that but i'm also you know it does it is caused by stress and anxiety and although i don't like to really talk about it or admit it i do struggle from a bit of anxiety myself. I am a rather anxious person, I'm a very scheduled and regimented and meticulous type of person, and I don't like surprises or, or things that come out of nowhere or things I'm not prepared for. So I always have struggled with that a bit on my own, but it's never been anything that's caused me any sort of physical problems prior to this. But coupled with the sort of stress that I was feeling and also the amount of caffeine that I was having, and my natural anxiety, it sort of manifested into this sort of problem. And I've been going to the doctors and trying to figure out, you know, exactly what the root is, but that seems to be the best case so far as to what was going on. So, for, especially for the last few months, this was really, really, really terrible. Some days, like, all day, I would feel like this, this constant feeling of, of heart pounding and, like, I was, you know, going to die, like I was having a heart attack. It was absolutely terrible. It just would not go away. And even sometimes when I was sleeping, I'd wake up, like, you know, with a jolt and feel like I was going to, you know, die in the middle of my sleep. It was so, so difficult, so painful and hard. And especially it was difficult to accomplish like anything while I was having this problem because when you have heart palpitations and you have like this this deep feeling you know in you it's it's hard to focus on anything else because it literally feels like you are going to die like that's all your brain thinks about is that oh my god I'm dying so trying to accomplish even simple tasks was very very difficult you know writing mails and trying to work on face-ups and everything like trying to do work and everything was so difficult and it was so hard to focus on anything other than I'm going to die so it made making videos and, and working on face-ups and work and anything like that, I made it super, super difficult. And unfortunately, during that time when it was really, really a big problem, I didn't really accomplish much of anything during that time. I had to take a lot of rest and just step away from the internet and everything and all, and my dolls and everything for quite a long time. That is why, since I made those previous videos, why I had not made videos since or ha why I had not uploaded them. You know, when I, d I felt okay, I had a lot of work to accomplish and I really didn't have much time for videos. And when I felt terrible, I really couldn't do anything at all so it was very very hard and taxing and just a terrible time but like I said I want to post this video now when things are a little bit different um, so I can actually add some positivity here and not just be like a big downer of terribleness in this whole video but the reason why I'm actually making this video now is because I've actually been taking some new medications and supplements that have been really helping my heart palpitations go away, which is absolutely amazing. Um, I've been taking them for a few weeks now, and it actually seems to, for the most part, have gotten rid of them completely. I've had a few rough days, and I had some unfortunate side effects that happened in the beginning when I was taking them. Now it seems like once everything's like built up in my system and all that good stuff, it seems like they've been working really, really great, and I haven't been having as many problems with side effects or anything like that since then so that is super 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 amazing i feel pretty much like my old self again which is i'm super 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 excited about still a little bit of difficulty here and there and of course i can't drink coffee anymore i can't have caffeine so i'm very very tired as usual but i do feel a ton better i feel pretty regular again which is amazing and i've been slowly but surely trying to doing my very very best to get caught up in everything and just it's taking a bit of time since there was a lot of uh, things that happened and a lot of unfortunate time that was lost because of this so yes um, I think this video is quite long enough I didn't want to ramble on too much about this but I ended up doing it anyway of course because that's what I do um, 
But thank you guys so, so very much for watching and for being so kind and patient and concerned for those of you guys who knew about this and, and have been messaging me and stuff. Thank you guys so, so much for all of your kindness and concern and well wishes. I really, really, really appreciate it. And for those of you guys who have been patiently waiting for me to make videos and wondering what's been going on, like, thank you so much for just being patient with me and uh, hopefully for being understanding as to why I was gone. Don't worry too much. Like I said, I feel really, really, really good nowadays. I feel pretty much totally normal. So don't worry too much about me. I should be just fine. Uh, things are looking better every single day. So hopefully I'll be back to making regular videos as soon as I can, hopefully. So look forward to that because... A lot of cool dolly things that I want to go ahead and do in the future. Of course, I want you guys along for the ride. So, yes, thank you guys so, so, so very much, as always, for watching and for sticking with me regardless of what happens. I appreciate you guys so much. And goodbye. <laughs>